Alright guys, we're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of the Mechanics of Materials by Baron Johnson. And we have a brass tube AB that has elastic modulus of 105 gigapascal and has a cross-sectional area of 140 millimeters squared. And it's fitted with a plunge at point A. The tube is attached at B to a rigid plate that is itself attached to C to the bottom of an aluminum cylinder. So we have the elastic modules for aluminum. And we also have the cross-sectional area of 250 millimeters squared. And the cylinder is hung from a support at D. And in order to close the cylinder, the plunge must move down through one millimeter. And we need to determine the force P that must be applied to cylinder. So we have two things in here. First, we have the aluminum tube that needs to be deflected by one millimeter. We also have the tube AB, which is made of brass. So our total deflection, if we show it with A, would be the deflection of AB plus the deflection of CD. And we know this has to be equal to one millimeter, which is the total deflection or 0 0.01 meter. Now we have to find the deflection of AB, which is the formula that we have discussed it over and over PLAB over the area of AB times elastic modulus. AB is made of brass. So we have the information that we had at the beginning of the question. So the force P is what we're trying to figure out. So we don't know that the length AB so would be the original length, which is one millimeter plus 375. So this will be actually 376 divided by 1000. So 0 0.376 times P. We have the area 140. Since it's millimeter squared, we're going to do 10 to the minus 6. Um, in order to get it in meters squared and the elastic modulus 105 times 10 to the 9 pascal that would be for ab you're going to have similar story for cd uh, again we have the same force the length for the cd as we can see the cd would be 375 so 0.375 that one millimeter is just for the brass or the member ab and we have also the area for the aluminum the area would be 250 and 72 is the elastic modulus 250 times 10 to the minus 6 again to get it in meters squared and 75 10 to the 9 gigapascal would be what we have for elastic modulus so we're just going to put all each of these in here 0 0.001 is equal to uh, we can factor P this value. Let's calculate this 76 divided by 140 times 105 times 1000. So the first one would be basically 25.58 times 10 to the minus 9. Let's see what we get from the second one. We have this part 375 this time. 250 times 75 times 1000 and this is going to be 20 times 10 to the minus 9 so we're going to have 20 plus 25.58 so for solving this we have 10 to the minus 3 we have 45.58 p times 10 to the minus 9 so basically we have 10 to the 6 divided by our answer so the p will be if we just do this 21.94 times 1000 newton or we can just report it as kilonewton like around 22 kilonewton the answer might be a little bit off because of what we have in here we didn't see the digits between like after 20 so it might be a little bit off, but like other than the calculation, this should be pretty close to the actual answer. And I hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.